Hello and welcome to another edition of Drivers Keepers. I'm Simon George. And I'm Simon Edwards. So today we're going to the motorist for coffee and cars. And you're coming with us. So, after a great drive through beautiful Yorkshire, we arrived at the motorist, where the cars caused quite a stir. We got in the queue for two flat whites. Morning, but we could have gone through to the Arnage restaurant for a proper sit-down breakfast. I do love an old sign. We should maybe point out at this point that we aren't being sponsored by the motorist, nor were we invited to attend the event. We didn't even get a free cup of coffee. It's just that we really love this venue. We feel very lucky to have it on our doorstep, and therefore we're super happy to share it with you folks. There's a great selection of car-related stuff and artisanal products in the shop, many of which are locally sourced. Anyway, refreshed by a cup of coffee and a donut, it's time to head outside and have a look around. The Murchilago draws quite a crowd, so while Simon went off to talk to people about his car, I had a mooch around the car park. And the first thing to catch my eye was this, 1978-1979 Mini, in my favourite colour, yellow. Just look at it. It looks like it's brand new. Now, Talbot Alpine, 1980. I don't really remember these in period, so my guess is it's a very rare car. And look at it. It looks like it's just rolled out of the showroom. It's somebody's pride and joy, and rightly so. There's always plenty of Porsches, but it can all be a bit baffling, can't it? 996 point something, 991 point the other. What I do know is they're nearly all great cars, and that that is a Cayman GTS. And I think that is a Miami Blue GT3. Stunning. And it's not just cars. Bikers rock up as well. Not that I know anything about bikes. But it all adds to the interest of a morning at the motorist. Now look at this. Dax Rush with a Honda Fireblade motorbike engine. What a thing! Bugs in your teeth, hence the helmet. And surely a thousand smiles per hour. 
Just look at it. Yeah, it has, mate. You're right. You gotta love a Mustang. And this one looks particularly beefy with Chavinis and Roush aftermarket additions. <laughs> very big soft spot for Lotus and doesn't this at least 111S look fantastic with some choice Exige parts added mainly the Exige style roof and the rear wing and those slightly larger wheels just set it off perfectly TVR 350C in a great colour powered by TVR's very own Speed 6 straight six cylinder engine. Which in this guise, unsurprisingly, makes 350 brake horsepower. Only 450 of these were ever made, so this is a rare car. Now, we spent quite a bit of time talking to the owner of this absolutely incredible Ford GT. What a nice chap. He uses this car like it's meant to be used, both at home and on the continent. And if we're very, very lucky, this car could feature in a future episode of Driver's Keepers. So keep everything crossed for us. Just look at it, what a spec. Likewise, this incredibly well done 959 replica could also be featuring on the channel. It has a fascinating story and has covered, oh, look at it from that angle. And it's covered some serious mileage too. Time to check in on the big Lambo. Ooh, nice burble from the Corvette. Yep, yeah, as usual, still plenty of interest in the Lambo does look good from this angle doesn't it especially with the doors open and the bat wings open look at this focus rs how clean is that car and the way that that color catches the sunlight just looks great doesn't it Another Lotus? Don't mind if I do. This time, beautiful dark grey Exige S. A pocket rocket if ever there was one. Lancia Delta. R8 Spider. With the V10 from the Gallardo. A mate of mine had one of these with an aftermarket exhaust so loud used to give him a headache. Mark II Escort. I had one of those. And I had one of those as well, same colour. Mine unfortunately had holes in the floor big enough to put your feet through. And while I had the Mini, my mate had one of these, Mark I Fiesta. Although unfortunately for him, his was the colour of your granny's tights. Camaro I think, another Miami Blue GT3, look at those wheels. Now, look at this, 1966, the year we won the World Cup, Austin Cooper S, in surely better than new condition. Just look at that. From the sublime to the ridiculous, I think this thing eats four minis a day. 5.7 litre Hemi. What a beast. 
Mm, early AC Cobra. Stunning. Gotta love an alpha, especially in yellow. Pretty little 4C. It was a good turnout, as you can see. Easter Sunday, the weather was playing ball. Happy days. Now, this will please Simon, another Lambo. I don't really know the new stuff, but I think it's a Hurricane Spider. But if it's a special edition, apologies, I don't know. Looks good though. Ooh, now tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing here. 1966 again, Volvo P1800. Planned in Sweden, designed in Italy, and unveiled in Brussels. Look at it. Superman fixation? Why not? Escort RS Turbo. Based on the XR3. I used to sell these new at a Ford dealership back in the 80s. Ah, a proper car. And you gotta love gold wheels. Nice with Daytona seats too. Anyway, it was time to head for home and to a big yellow surprise on a roundabout that we really weren't expecting. So there you have it, another edition of Driver's Keepers. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon for another one. Bye. See ya.